Hey everybody, this is Jenna Rose. Welcome back. So this morning, Melody woke up completely unbothered by anything that Tisha or Marcel had to say. And if you missed it, please check out my last video. It's in the description box and you will get an earful. So as I was saying about Melody being unbothered, she posted these videos to her IG page this morning of her on a beach, wrapped in a blanket, sipping some champagne, I'm sure, and watching the sunrise over the ocean. And for those of you who are curious, Melody took this trip solo, and she even had time to give a little bit of advice to the people who think they need a bay. She said, be okay with vacationing you until God wants you to take a vacation, okay? I promise you that self-love truly is where it's at. Master that first, and you can't expect anyone to treat you in a way you're not willing to treat yourself. So I remember the last time Melody took her vacation, Everybody was speculating that she was there with the leading man from her video, Telltale Signs, and she wanted to nip that in the bud immediately. She wanted to let the people know she is there by herself, enjoying her vacation by herself. And no one should ever say that she doesn't deserve it because the girl works her ass off. And whether you like it or not, she truly is the blueprint for how to get things done when you are on reality TV, period. Now, with that being said, let's address some things with the rest of the cast, starting with Martel. So y'all know that Martel launched his red wine this week. He returned to social media after being away for over a month. And once he showed back up, everybody was wondering, who is your stylist, number one? And number two, who is your PR person? Martel allowed someone to post this advertisement of his newly launched wine, something he invested money into, showed up on the scene for the first time in months, so it was supposed to make this big splash, and the word California is spelled wrong. Melody would never, do you hear me? Ever. So again, I say, if you've been given the blueprint, why not just follow it? Why fail so miserably as something that should have gone off without a hitch. So next up is Tisha and Marceau again. And I forgot to mention it in the last video, but it's important, so I'm gonna bring it up in this one. Y'all remember when Tisha had the Mommy Business podcast and she was like, fire engine, red, jealous of Melody. And Melody confronted her about it and told her, listen, everything you do is copying from me. Even your font on the um, Mommy Business shit was a copy of Mel's Embrace Skincare. Y'all remember that? And Tisha had went on to the podcast with her husband, Marceau, and had a whole dialogue back and forth with him about why she's not allowed to work outside of the house. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I remember for some reason. So these fools can't even remember their own storyline. And then they're coming out and trying to make it like Melody is somehow overshadowing Tisha's uh, boss-like accomplishments. I think he said something like, we're not able to see what a boss look like. The viewers can't see what a boss looks like because Melody and her t-shirts or whatever. He, he didn't say her name, but he definitely implied Melody was stopping people from seeing what a real boss looks like. So I just wanted to mention that. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about that mess. Tell me what you think about Martel's um, crazy uh, spell check error there too. But anyway... So it looks like Maurice and Marceau squashed their beef. They were all in Vegas last night celebrating their younger brother's birthday, uh, Tisha, Kimmy, and a lot of other family and friends. It's been tagged to the end of this video if you guys want to check it out. But continue to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will check you guys on the next one.